Yeah, yeah that, that's the boundary. The hill looks a lot higher um, now than what lives Nana's, there. Nana's house is here now. Yeah. And the, 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 um, the four-horse barn is right there. So what is that the two-horse? Well, what's that? That's what the two, that? That's the two-horse barn there. Feed room. And feed room. And feed that, room. Yeah. And right here... Um, Right here is the 12 horse barn, 1981, it was taken. So we moved here about 18 years ago and there was nothing here. Um, it was Bernie's parents' place and they just used to run a couple of dry stock and some the odd horse. Um, so we've put everything in, we've put the track in, we've put the barns in um, and done a lot, yeah. I left school when I was 15 because this is all I ever wanted to do. Yeah, so your dad was a trainer, he was a battling trainer. We used to train at Claudelands in, in um, Hamilton, which is no longer there. But, um, you know, and dad, he specialised in the trotters too because he was a farrier as well. and. He took on a lot of rough old horses that nobody else wanted and, and um, he didn't have a lot of success but he always got them going, you know. Dad had a dairy farm up north um, in Tangaroria um, and they sold that and shifted down here. I've always been interested in the horses when I was at school. Um, I used to sneak away and go to the races and that and um, shifted down here with them and yeah, carried on. Also, you got involved with Dave Jessup. Oh, board. Dave Jessup, yeah, the Tangaroria, that's where Checkerboard was reared and raced. Um, and he had Vance Hanover. And I okay, actually come down and worked for him for a while, yeah. Um, so, to start off with, Bernie, um, he trained and I just drove. And then um, things got a little bit tough for a while, so Bernie, he managed to get a job. And then I took over the training because I had the kids, so, you know, is it look after the kids and train the horses. So that's when I took out my licence and then this thing's built up and he left work and come back and we went into partnership. I was at Glenbrook and it started from when I first bought my first property at Glenbrook. Um, it was all stumpy pine trees. Uh, the guy had it for Christmas trees and I didn't know what to call my place and I was Glenbrook, Pine, Pinebrook. So it's just stuck with us as we shifted. Um, I've always been keen on the on the shoeing. Um, I went to America, I shot a wee bit over there um, and just carried on. And I thought, well, yeah, it's bad when your head's lower than your bum all day long. So Shane Butcher comes in and helps me now and, and I've sort of stepped back a wee bit. Satisfaction when you get one that's hitting real bad and you shoe it and you can shoe it off where it's hitting um, and things like that. You drive them in the race and they get a bit floaty. I think you can put a little bit more weight on them. Um, and, and it's just, yeah, it's a big, big bonus. The facilities that we use, um, one of the main reasons we moved here was the beach. Um, we just thought there wasn't many beach training up this way and it was a good opportunity to be a little bit different. Um, so with the beach and then we put the pool in um, and that way, you know, like we have over the years been given a lot of horses that need rehab and and that sort of work to help them. I've always liked the trotters. Michelle's loved the trotters. Um, and we've done a lot of paces early on. We had a big year, like 70 winners we trained. Um, and we had some nice paces. And Michelle said to me one day, why don't we just concentrate on the trotters? And I said, well, you won't get any arguments out of me. I said, we might be a bit quiet for a while, but it's just got bigger and better. We actually got 10 two-year-olds this year and it's be the first time ever we've had yeah. so many two-year-olds, you know, um, and it's just fantastic, you know, like um, four of them have been to the trials, they've gone for a wee break now because there's no two-year-old racing for them, but, um, you know, it's just a different path we've taken and um, actually of the 10, only two of them are sales horses, so, um, and yeah, so the rest of them are all regular um, faithful clients. Yeah. Today's headaches and tomorrow's racehorses. 
moving the birth date and, and they are stronger. Um, I still think there's a few teething problems because you buy a trotter at the sales in February and we still haven't got two year old racing off the ground. You know, whereas now we would they would have all been raced and they would have some would have won and be getting ready for the jewels next week. Um, but now we haven't even had a two year old race up here. I know you've had some down south but and we haven't got any programmed. Um, we've got a two thousand dollar race program next month I think. Um, so it's, it's hard to say to an owner, come to the sales, we'll buy one in February and hopefully it's racing October the year after. You know, it's a, it's a, and I know a lot of two-year-olds don't make two-year-olds, but it is your aim to make the two-year-olds if they're good enough. We have two daughters, um, Crystal, our youngest one, she works for Barry and Scott. She's a junior driver, absolutely loving it. Um, and is getting a good good go at the moment, you know, getting a few drives, getting a few wins Emma up there. Frost, Mystic Max, Romeo Foxtrot's in the clear, Alana down the outside, Emma Frost and Crystal Hackett, here's Romeo Foxtrot diving at it on the outside, Emma Frost will see it through, she was knocking on the door for a win and she gets it tonight. So she's loving it. Proud as punch, you know, like yeah. to see her out there doing it and, and you know, like she's still young, you know, she's only... 18 and she's been driving for 12 months. I don't think I even got my license till I was 19, you know, or um, because back then you, you were a little bit older before you started, you know, but um, yeah, no, really proud of her. She's just doing great. Yeah, couldn't be more happy for her, yeah. And our other daughter, Tyler, went still in the horses but went a different direction and she show jumps and very very hard to balance Bernie does get a little bit annoyed at times but um, many a time I've come home from Auckland got home at 11 o'clock grabbed two hours sleep and jumped in the truck and driven to Hastings or somewhere you know to get them there um, you just you do you just work it you know you do what you've got to do at the moment she's in Sydney based in Sydney working over there took a horse over and um, competing over there for the winter and she'll be back about September whether she comes back to work for us in the mornings like she was, um, I'm not sure yet. Like I've been in it all my life, my dad was a trainer and I know how hard it is. You know, it's, it's um, you know, there's long hours, you know, and you don't get many weekends or anything like that, but, um, and you've got to be passionate about it and Crystal's passionate about it. So, you know, um, you're better off going to a job that you love and, you know, working a bit harder than going to somewhere you don't like every day and hating it, you know.